Uh, so this is the leadership uh, interview for Austin uh, Northwest. We getting this? All right, is Austin in the house or what? You guys are, y'all want to be famous or what? Huh? Now, I know that many of you want to be uh, leaders, or, if, or, or maybe you're like, I don't want anything to do with leadership, but you feel maybe prodded and poked like leadership is maybe a calling that's in your life. By the way, every, every one of you is a leader. Did y'all know that? Yeah, you're, you're a leader over some facet and some group of individuals. So right now we have Susan Joyner. She's a productivity coach here at Austin Northwest. And we have Christy Davidson, who is the team leader at Austin Northwest. And they're going to just talk to us a little bit about what leadership is and what it entails and uh, what it's all about. So let's start. I guess Christy's going to start because she's or got. I'll, I'll let Susan. <laughs> Susan always likes to go first. Hi, what I what <laughs> I wanted. About giving me this microphone. I okay, want to know. Dangerous. First off, I want to know how many agents do you guys lead right now? What What's the agent number? So right now we're at five fifty. Five hundred and fifty agents. Five hundred and fifty. That's a lot of agents. That's a lot of people to lead. You know, Jesus only had Jesus only had twelve. <laughs> yeah, this is this is big. That's big. Okay, we have a hundred. Oh, we need to move up. That's okay. Look, that's fine. We have 131 in coaching, and 50 of those. You're coaching. You're coaching 131 people. That's right. right now. Well, on some level. Yeah. Either in group or individual. We're always on some level, whether we're way right. down here. That's right. right. I'm trying so, to coach more people than that, Nolly. Well, good. Good. All <laughs> right. All right. Just, just 130. Life. That that's a lot. So so, uh, what led y'all into leadership? Like, what was the nagging passion in your heart that says, I want to become a leader? Or did, or did you even make the decision to do that? So I had no choice. Okay. Um, no, I'm <laughs> um, I was in real estate for um, 18 years. Yeah. Um, the beautiful thing about Keller Williams is, you know, you may enter and think that this is what you're going to do, yeah. which you sold real mm-hmm. estate to. Yeah. Um, however, there's so many opportunities and so many ways that we grow professionally and personally, yeah. um, as life happens to us. Um, leadership and talent, interestingly enough, um, is something Keller Williams is always looking for. And I, I, I even today have people call and go, you know, we are always looking for great talent. Yeah. And how special is that that they look for it, right? Mm-hmm. And so at one point... Um, I never wanted to move from Austin, and the OP of this particular market center, the opportunity came, came you know, in front of us, and she said, well, now you can't say no, um, yeah. and I was so excited about but, it. But you were doing a lot of business in luxury, right? Correct. You had a big luxury business, a big team, because you Correct. were just a few doors down from me. Yes, I was. So, I mean, it, it, it wasn't the money opportunity. It had to be some other reason, because you were already doing well with that, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. I think it was more, and you're right, um, it it ends up not becoming about the money. It becomes about really feeding your passion. Uh Uh-oh. I hear Susan here. Uh Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. And um, watching others succeed through you, and it is incredibly rewarding. Absolutely. Okay, I took all of your speech. (laughs) I was just going to say, I was asked... And at first I said no, and then I had an opportunity to think about it and decided that it would help, that if I were in a position to lead others, I would have to be better myself. Yeah. And so it would be an opportunity for me to grow toward my potential. So leadership has allowed you to expand who you are and become Almost more. Definitely. Okay, and, great. And now I really feel that I have a calling to take people to the next level in their lives and as a coach to help them fulfill their destiny yeah. in business. How does that feel when you help another human being oh, accomplish? It's fantastic. Yeah, let's, let's, right, let's, let's go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's yeah. nothing like it. It's awesome. Yeah. See, and, 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 and all of you know this, that when, when we think about it, we say, uh, what really makes us truly fulfilled and happy? It's not a million dollars in the bank, right? It's not winning the lottery, because we, we know we've seen a lot of, that wouldn't be too bad either, right? <laughs> If your perspectives are right, um, but it really it really boils down to uh, following the passion of your heart, mm-hmm. right? And when you run away from the passion of your heart, right, where your heart is calling you, what happens? 
you're miserable no matter how many deals you close. Exactly, because that's where happiness lies. Right. Right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And happiness is a big part of success. Preach it. I'm going to go sit down. Okay. <laughs> because we get our eyes on the dollar signs forgetting that happiness has a lot to do with personal fulfillment and to be personally fulfilled has everything to do with being successful. Great. That's that's per that's yeah, wonderful. Um, we did talk about your big why, but you go ahead and tag on to that. Well, no, the other thing I was going to say in in just to add on to what Susan said is that I've discovered in leadership, which is so f fulfilling, are the relationships mm -hmm. that are we're so blessed to be in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when we say, and you know this, Nolly, yeah. when we say we have a family of 550, yeah. I mean, we've got a big family. Absolutely. Um, but does, it doesn't change. We're all here for each other. We see the culture. We see the contributions. Yeah. Um, and that's what gets me excited every morning. So you guys, you guys get to see, because you're on the front lines of the trenches, if you or behind the scenes, but you get to see the trenches. What are, what are agents lacking? What, and, and it's a two-part question. What do you think the agents, their biggest need is right now? Um, and do you think agents should focus on listings? And if so, oh is, is that something that, mm. or why? If you would. Okay, I'll start with the listings. Okay. Listings is king. Um, as we all know, there are you know over 10,000 other agents that when you have listings are all working for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And the way to have a real estate business that is sustained, that isn't a roller coaster, as we have all experienced, trust me, we've yeah. all been on that wild roller coaster, yeah. um, is to have listings. Focus on it, be purposeful, because, I mean, that is money in the bank. Yeah. That is, as long as it's priced right, yeah. and, um, and shows well, obviously. Mm -hmm. You've got, and in my mind, when I ran my team, I've got 10,000 people working for me when I was sitting at my son's football game. Yeah. How beautiful is that? Yeah. So um, it's king and you can control then your own time. You talk about all those wonderful coach coaching well, agents. I, I was just thinking, I mean, in terms of needs, yeah. what I feel like gets in the way of us all is our mindset. Yeah, mm -hmm. And true. sometimes we start with a big dream and we get discouraged and so we start dumbing down our dream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Y'all relate that at all? We said, well, I wanted to make 200000 That's what I really need to make. But, you know, it's okay if I make one fifty. Mm -hmm. And if we're not up to one fifty, it's okay if I make 100 yeah. And we start letting yeah. our dream get smaller. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Has anybody ever done that? Like, none of us have ever done that, right? <laughs> Never. Right? Mm. Never. So, what I see is the need to keep the dream big. Yeah and keep the mindset focused forward. You know, forward is always a great direction to go Absolutely. in. <laughs> I love that. Well, I have one more question, um, and that is, if you were to sit down with an agent today and just give them counsel, or like a brand new agent, mm -hmm. um, what, would you, what would you tell them? Like, at this point in this time of year, what, oh. what advice would you give a new agent? I, what advice would I give to an agent? I would say start connecting with 100 people a day if possible. Mm -hmm. Voice to voice, face to face. Real estate, in spite of all of our technology, is still a people business. Mm -hmm. It's all relationship, Absolutely. isn't it? Without people, nothing's going to happen in your career. So if you're really serious, make calls, door knock. Do that four days a week, 100 contacts a day, even four days a week. Uh, prospect for sellers because listings as you all know are king yeah. and queen yeah. right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what right. I would say I'd say just jump right in learn scripts and dialogues so you have confidence about what you're going to say some people are willing to do the work and they're out there however they haven't quite figured out what to say yet yeah. and yep. so got to master those scripts and dialogues well, and just to follow up, because we, we, we both we think a whole up. lot. Yeah, we, we think a whole lot the same. You should see us when we're in the same room together. I know. <laughs> we just um, get going. Unless you're in relationships with people, the scripts and dialogues do nothing for you. That, that, so, there you go. what I would say, and what I did 18 years ago, scared to death as a single mom, mm. I had no choice but to 
figure out how to succeed because yeah. I wouldn't have a roof over my head and my kid wouldn't have shoes. Anybody know Seriously. what that feels like? Anybody, anybody been there? Yeah. yeah. We've, We've all been. And so what if you will purpose, purposefully think about what, what interests you, what type of people interest you, mm -hmm. get involved in those kinds of organizations. I don't mean go, you know, join a charity if you don't like doing it. Yeah. Truly, what things... Something passionate about. Yeah, what things inspire you and what would you, you know, individuals you'd like to be around. In my case, I had no choice. I sat in bleachers. My child was an athlete. I was in baseball stadiums, I mean, uh, baseball stands, football stadiums, soccer, basketball. And so then what I said to myself was, wow. So all of these relationships are going to, that's going to be my business. And it was. And so you just got to show up. It's mm -hmm. not about telling people, you know, oh my God, can I help you by yourself? Can I help you by yourself? Lord of mercy, no. It is about you being the expert and you showing up. And when they see your face, they go, wow, Christy is the one that knows about real estate. Right. Mm -hmm. And you just do it and repeat it over and over. And I guarantee you, you're networking and those, the database that's, Susan always says, start with that first. Mm -hmm. um, that will be, be your success. Yeah. Uh, did y'all have any questions for our leaders here? Uh, give them a round of applause. Thank, Thank did, you. Anything else y'all want to add? Mm -hmm. Great. Was that good? Was that good? Thank y'all. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much. Susan Joyner and Christy Davidson, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for paying it forward. We appreciate yeah. that.